What's up guys? I'm at the Overland Expo in Flagstaff, Arizona. And there's a lot of vehicles and products on my short list. I think I have to say four-wheel campers is on that short list for sure. Why is that? Because I like the idea of having your truck, which is something that you can swap out when it wears out or updates and you get newer trucks as you move on but you can still put the camper on the new truck and I also like the mobility of this kind of setup because you can do u-turns on the trails way up in the mountains you can turn around easy versus having a trailer and another thing these are actually kind of affordable compared to like the forty fifty thousand dollar campers you see out there these are quite aff affordable and uh, let's take a look so like right off the bat look at this one here this is like a Dodge Ram 3500 heavy duty four-wheel drive I guess they're not calling them Dodge Rams anymore they're just calling them Ram trucks I don't know why they do that it's got a Cummins turbo diesel under the hood it's got the Hawk model on here and if you don't know about these they have a soft sided pop top so you get like six feet or so headroom in the inside but when you're traveling you pop it down and it's low profile aerodynamic for the most part so you save on fuel and you also save on space when you're traveling through the back country so you don't hit the branches as much and of course it has all the amenities heater air conditioning hot water outdoor shower all that stuff lights and some of them even have potties on the inside you have the little porta potty on the inside this one has a big awning led lights out here this one has a big window right here that's cool probably lets in a lot of light so everybody sits up front or you could put more gear in the back seats if you don't have four people but uh this is cool oh here goes that wilco off-road tire carrier it swings away that's nice i've seen that at sema it's got roto packs tucked away in the back ah that's cool i like that hitch it says easy hitch step and it does look pretty easy look at that and then you got your traditional camper door with locks deadbolt this is a big one having a screen having a screen to keep the bugs out is that's a big deal to me you camp enough you start to realize how crappy it is to camp with bugs lying around here's your fridge right there and then here's your little dinette area they face each other which is nice people like to be able to talk to each other and see each other when they're just chilling here's some storage there's your heater usb and um, 12 volt plugs there's your stove two burner stove and here's your sink it says base model 1106 pounds base model price 18,000 this one looks like it has the winter package on it so it's got a dual layer insulation you can close it up to block the light or open it up and let the light in there's a mirror right there that's cool look how tall this is see how tall it is it's at least six feet something I don't know what it is just above six feet smoke detector there's that big nice uh, open window I'm sitting down in the chair now you can kind of see me just chilling in here nice and comfy your table for breakfast or coffee your loved one or friends can sit on the other side there it's really nice cubbies right there for storage the cool thing is this table moves out of the way there's like a little knob down there you can disconnect this table and then this folds down into a bed so it actually folds down right into this spot and becomes just enough room for one person that's cool then your bed up here so this slides out and you bring these cushions inside here like this just like that let's see might as well show you the whole thing. shebang boom I think it just, I think it just slides that. see just like that see that nice RV size queen bed basically a smallish queen probably go head to toe this way I'm assuming 
But if you're short enough, you can probably go that way too. That's nice. I like it. You got a vent over the bed and a vent over the kitchen. Pretty sweet. Let's go check out the other ones. Oh. There's a whole bunch of them here, man. Tons of them. Let's see which ones are open though. Oh, this guy got, has a nice bike rack back here. Cargo box. So here's one on a Tacoma. This is probably super popular because this is a Tacoma 4x4. It's a fleet model, so it's tiny. That's cool. Two fuel packs, mat tracks over there, cargo box. These things swing away. I'm digging these steps. That's cool. Tiny doors, you have to watch your head. They even have foam on here to, so you don't bump your head. And then, of course, same thing, heater, there's your little tiny fridge, bunch of storage, I think the toilet's in there, or you could put a little porta potty in there. I always go camping with a porta potty. Let's go check it out. It's like a hobbit door. Two burner stove, little tiny sink. I like the fact that this faucet's not the folding type. I like that, more residential style for the most part. USB ports. This one's a little bit different here. So this one has a dinette in a different configuration than what we saw in the other one. It's, uh, still facing each other. Um, and then this one obviously folds down into a single bed as well. Probably more for a kid on this one. I don't see an adult fitting in here. But a kid could sleep in there for sure when you convert that into a bed. And obviously this comes way out. Look at that. This thing comes way out here. Makes a nice big bed. Look at that. That's cool. I like it. So if you have a little Tacoma, but you want all the comforts of home, having a big comfy bed, a table to have coffee, a fridge, a sink, stove, and a porta potty down there, this is the one you want on your Tacoma. I'm telling you, this is this is cool. Price on this base model, eighteen thousand. It only weighs a hair over a thousand pounds so super lightweight i love it man i love these things i really think this is in my future if everything goes the way i plan <clears throat> so here's the grand b in a long bed ram truck i believe this is the biggest one they make so if you have a big truck with a long bed this is what it looks like step up in here doors a little bit bigger so here's the the heater and sink and stove just like you saw in the other ones nice power controls the fridge is going to be the same in most of these because you can't really go too high because this top comes down i think this one might be a little bit bigger than the other ones though because you have more space in the bottom and this is where your toilet yep where your toilet goes so if you have to take a poop when it's snowing or raining you can still do that inside here oh a nice big table seating area of course that turns into a bed so two people can sleep there and then once again that fantastic humongous bed up top that's nice love it let's see what it looks like when you sit down here Oh yeah, this is comfy. I can imagine going up to Tahoe, maybe in the parking lot when it's snowing and people are gonna go snowboarding or skiing or whatever. Chilling out in here with the heater on with some hot coffee or whatever. This is nice. Maybe cook up some food, make some uh, chorizo burritos or something. <laughs> yeah, this is comfy, man. I could see this in my life for sure. All right, that's the Granby, the big boy. All right, so check this out. This is for all you guys who have a really small box truck. This is the Swift, which is the tiniest camper that they make. So Colorados, Tacomas, whatever, the tiny small boxes, this will fit in there. But uh, I think it said it was just a hair over um, 900 pounds. So super lightweight, 900 pounds, that's light. So obviously the top pops down for uh, 
space, nice and small, easy to drive down the highway. And the door's got the screens, it's got a deadbolt and the lock there. This is the outside vents for everything. All right, so let's check it out on the inside. All right, so like I said before, this is the smallest model. This one's actually outfitted with everything you could possibly put in the smallest model, but normally this is kind of ideal for the hunter who just needs a warm, comfortable bed to sleep in with a heater and then maybe an extra spot for his hunting buddy and then a big open space here for your guns or maybe your dogs or whatever. Uh, no fridge, no sink, no stove, just gutted like a hunting cabin on wheels is what most guys will probably buy this for because it's only 936 pounds and it's tiny but if you got the money and you really want to glamp out you can get a fridge and a sink and a stove and really uh, do it up big time again look at this crazy big bed that is a huge bed in the back of your Toyota Tacoma or Colorado or whatever Nissan very cool I love this thing man I think this is the model I would buy actually because you got this folding bed thing set up here look at this let's show you guys what this this uh, bed looks like BAM look at that that's actually a pretty big bed I could sleep there comfortably and then someone two people two more people could sleep up there so it sleeps three and it even has a table so if you want to set up a table in here, you can do that. That's cool. I like it. Very, very cool, man. That's the Swift model, the tiniest, lightest model that they make. All right, guys, so there you have it. That is a look at four-wheel campers. You guys know I love these guys. They're out of Woodland, California kind of like my old stomping grounds because I used to live in Sacramento and my wife used to work in Woodland but uh, yeah check them out if you want to learn more about four-wheel campers go to their website check them out it's uh, fourwheelcampers.com very cool stuff leave a like to support my channel and leave a comment below let me know what you think about four-wheel campers